Hi everybody! Welcome back to your Tips For You. Today I have a great upper body workout for you and I'm going to do it right along with you. It's going to feature several exercises all targeting the different muscles of your upper body and it's going to get you in great shape for the summer. It's going to tone and strengthen your arms, your chest area and you're going to look fabulous. Okay, so first we're going to start out with bicep curls. We're going to go into tricep work. We're going to do some shoulder presses. We're going to do some flies and then we're going to finish it off with some push-ups. So we're going to do three sets of each and each exercise is going to be done for 12 reps including the push-ups. Now you can always add more push-ups and you can also take your reps to 15 if you want but no more than that. 12 to 15. For today's video we're going to do 12 and like I said I'm going to do it right along with you. Please do this workout at least three times a week or every other day. You don't want to do it every day because you want to give your muscles time to repair and restore and that's how they build and strengthen. You don't want to do them every day. So if you do these after your cardio workout or however you want to do it, but do them every other day or three times a week and you will see some fabulous results. Okay, so our first exercise is going to be bicep curls. So grab your dumbbells, and I've got mine right here. And um, lots of you write me and ask me, well, how do I know what weight to use? And it really depends on each person. I would always suggest you start out with lighter weights, and you can always add more weights as your reps become easier. So if you get to that 12th to 15th rep, and it's really simple for you, it's time to move up. So why don't you start with something like five pounds and see how you feel. And if that's too much, you can always drop down to three or two pounds and work your way up. Your body will respond very quickly. Believe me, it knows when you're ch we're challenging it and it wants to get strong for you right away. So I'm just using, I use usually um, 10 pounds to 12 pounds for my bicep curls. So it's up to you how you want to start. Now, a couple of tips on the bicep curls. I want you to always keep your arms taut next to you. I want you to keep your elbow close into your waist and it has to be a strong move with try to be as still as possible. Now, for those of you who are going to test yourselves and use more weight, if you feel a little swing in your body like this cuz you're using heavier weight, that's okay. You're going with the momentum of your body. But if you've got to go like this to lift the weight, no good that's too much and you're lifting too heavy weight. So keep it tight, keep it close to the body, and you'll do great, okay? And we're going to get started right now and we're going to do 24 reps. And let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. 24. We want to make sure we had 12 on each arm. Okay, so that's why we did 24. But it's 12 on so each. Our next exercise is going to be tricep extensions. Um, and we're going to do two exercises for tricep extensions. One is going to be behind you, reaching back singularly with one arm at a time, and the other one is going to be doing double arm. Okay, so let's get started. I want you to bend over. You can put one hand on your knee, and I want you to reach back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now that gets a really nice stretch through the tricep. You're going to feel it back here. That's your tricep muscle, it's the opposing muscle to your bicep muscles, so it's important that you work both sides of your arm. Okay, so our next exercise is going to be doing tricep extensions with one dumbbell. And I want you to put it behind your head like this, and you're going to be raising it up and down. 
So when you position your hands, position your hands to the lower area of the dumbbell closest to the bottom. And then you're going to raise it like this over your head, okay, coming close to your ears, and go one. Now you're not pushing forward, you're pushing straight up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Now bring down your weight in front of you and we're going to work the other arm, our left arm that we didn't, with this tricep extension, pushing it back, okay? I'm going to have a stiff arm pushing up towards the ceiling. And one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight and 9, and 10, and 11, and 12. Our next exercise is going to be doing shoulder presses. And that's going to work our, our shoulders, gives you a nice definition between your shoulder and your, uh, and your bicep, and it also works your biceps and triceps too, along with its secondary muscles. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to push it up over our heads, and it's one, two, you can do them like this too, and rotate, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and 12. Now I want you to join me on the ground and we're going to do flies. Flies are fabulous for your chest muscle. So those of you that are trying to build up your chest area, tighten and firm your breast area, this is a great exercise for you. And what you're going to need um, is either, you know, you want to be on carpeting or have an exercise mat. And since I'm on my wood floor, I'm going to use my mat. You want to have two pillows to protect your elbows when they hit the ground. Um, so I'm going to put two pillows on either side of me. And, and these pillows are going to catch my elbows as they come down. And what's good about doing them on the ground too, is that you won't hyperextend when you come down. and So you'll really concentrate on your chest area. Okay, so... Grab your dumbbells and just lift and lower. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. Now, our last exercise for this set, and then we're going to go through this three times, is push-ups. Everybody loves push-ups. So, what you're going to do, and if you need, you want like lots of tips on correct form and stuff, I have a great video on push-ups that you can refer to, so, but we're just going to go right into it. Um, Straighten your body, come down for 12 push-ups, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, back to dumbbells, and we're going to start again. We'll go to our bicep curls. Ready? Get your dumbbells, and here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. Now let's go right into our tricep work. Grab just one weight. We're going to start with one arm, tricep extension. One, two, three, four, five. Don't lock your elbow. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. Feeling it in your tricep? Over your head, grab the dumbbell, and we're going to go back. 12. Double tricep. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Now, we're going to go into the tricep extension for the other arm. Let's work that. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Ready for shoulder presses? Grab your other weight and let's bring it up over our heads. Ready? One, two, three, four, or this way, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Are you feeling it? Once you start doing several sets of something, you really feel it. Let's get back down on the ground and we are going to do our flies. Get your mat and your pillows. Okay, ready? And one. Two, three, four, five, six. You don't have to clink, but I do. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And now it's time for twelve push ups. Okay? So get into position. I don't like my mat for push-ups. I can move that. And here we go. You can always add more push-ups as time goes on. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Now, start again. This is our last set. We do three sets of each. Our last set of bicep curls. Grab your weights. Okay, so ready? And one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 
19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay, ready? Time to do your tricep extension, the long extension, and one, and two. Now, if you get tired of the weight you're using, drop down to a lighter weight. Okay, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Bring it up over your head, and let's do them from the center. I want to work all areas of the tricep, and one, and two, and three, and four. Remember, it's straight up, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten, and eleven, and twelve. Now. Bring it over for the other tricep. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Grab your other dumbbell. And we're going to do shoulder press. Ready? Position and one, two, three, four, five. Don't worry if you start trembling a little. That's perfectly fine. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. And 12. Remember, form is really important. So you want to make sure you have the right weight. Now we're going to get down on the ground again. We're going to do those flies. Don't use a really large pillow because you want to get some range of motion. Um, I'm actually only kind of touching the, the very tip of the pillow. It's just so that I don't come banging down on my elbow, which is really something that if you're using heavy weights, you're more inclined to do, which I'm not using really heavy weights. I don't use very heavy weights, but um, for you fellas out there that do, just keep that in mind. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Notice the position of where I am. Nine, 10, 11, and 12. And now our final exercise is going to be push-ups. And we've completed our three sets of each exercise. So get ready to do your push-ups. And then you're going to cheer yourself, pat yourself on the back for a job well done. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. That twelfth one is always a killer. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed this upper body workout. I hope, like I said, you'll do it three times a week at least to have tone, strong arms. You want to get rid of any jiggle that you have under here. Now that you're done with all your exercises, you should really spend a little bit of time stretching out those muscles that you just used. It doesn't take long and it's really good to stretch because it helps repair the muscle and actually helps it heal and grow stronger. So just go over your head like this, grab your fingers, and then come back behind your head like this and just pull down pull on your fingers. That gives you a nice open stretch and then lean your head back into your hands like this. See? And lean back. 
lean back while you're pulling your fingers. That helps open up all the chest muscles. You'll feel it in your biceps. It really feels good. Now, let's work on stretching those triceps. And I want you to just grab your elbow like this. Put your hand behind your head and just press. Look towards the arm and just press. Press it down. It feels really good. You get a stretch all into the back of the tricep, the back of the shoulder. It's really important to stretch. It helps you prevent injury and stiffness. Do the same with the other arm. Okay. Pull it again like this and look up. Now, if you have a piece of furniture or a doorway nearby, I want you to kind of go up to it like I am, like this. I want you to put your palm flat against it, like I'm doing, and I want you to lean into it. I want you to get a stretch all through here. Just lean into it. And that gives you a really good stretch. Don't press too hard. Remember, you don't want to pull anything. You simply want to stretch. I'm just going to do it this way, but you'll see the back of me. Feels really, really good. What you can also do is just swing your arms out, swing them a little, shake them a little. Okay, they just worked hard for you. Did a great job. Swing them back and forth. Do a little twist. Okay, because that opens up the shoulder. Just do a little twist. And you see you'll feel much better. The tightness will disappear. You can feel the pull in here as you go around. Twisting is very good. Okay, so please subscribe because I have a lot more to come, something of interest to everyone. And please visit me at my blog spot where I do a lot of writing. Please like my page on Facebook and follow me on Twitter so we can stay connected there as well. And I will see you soon. Keep up the good work. Keep exercising. And don't forget your cardio. Okay? Take care. Bye-bye now.